Hey there guys. Well, it's been a long time, right? Since we've put anything up. And um, I'm really excited about this particular post because this is something that I have been waiting quite a while to bring up and to put back in front of you. Um, my, my wife and I have been talking about it a lot and we've talked about uh, how much we have not necessarily been, been doing this. She asks me every week, hey Corey, it's, you know, Thursday's coming up. And Thursday was the day that we had talked about doing Living Worship Media stuff. And so we haven't been doing it. And I want to talk a little bit about about what's been going on and why and um, how, how God uses all kinds of crazy stuff to show us where we need to be, what we need to be focused on, um, how we need to, to be watching out and, and just trying to be faithful. So, you know... People always say that God knocks them down, or that they get knocked down. Not that God knocks them down, but that we get knocked down. And you know, um, I feel like that's kind of what happened with this. I'll tell you, when we first started Living Worship Media, when we first started this adventure, um, we were all excited. I've had a ton of people ask me um, since we started uh, doing it, and we have not really been doing a whole lot of it. I've had probably ten people say, "Hey." You know, we haven't seen you post anything in a long time. What's going on with that? You know, are you guys still are you guys still going to be doing that? Are you still going to be playing music online and that kind of thing? And uh, I just kind of shrugged it off and said, "Hey, um, yeah, we are. You know, it's going to come down the road sometime." But anyway, um, what this video is really going to be about is um, is my heart for this, and um, hopefully, a plan for the future, and kind of what I have in my heart and mind for what we're going to do going forward with this. So, um, the why. Well, when when we started doing Living Worship Media, it came from a night of friends here at the house, and we all got together, and we started playing music, and some different people had said that it really touched them, and that it was an inspiration to them, and that they needed it, and... Um, it was just awesome to see what we loved and, and had as a hobby, and it, it was awesome to see how that was helping people. And so we decided that we wanted to keep doing that. We decided we wanted to keep helping people. And so um, we, we, we decided that we, we needed it to be a little more you know, pronounced. It just didn't need to be you know, Corey's page or Skip's page or Brittany's page or Randy's page or whoever. Um, we decided it needed to be a thing, and that's where Living Worship Media came from. And the name, in my opinion, says exactly what what our hearts had in mind. We sat in, in the living room downstairs one night talking to probably 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning about about what worship was and what it meant to, to worship. And the heart and soul behind Living Worship Media and behind what we want to to share and to show is that this is something that we do with our lives. This is something that we do in everything that we do, not just something that we do in the sanctuary on Sunday morning, in the sanctuary on Wednesday night, at the men's Bible study. Those are all definitely places that you can that you can worship, but it's not places that that that's not the place that it's limited to. So I want to read something really quick that I found online when I was trying to just do some research and and I want to share this. Um, this is some ways into an article and I can post the article in the comments. It's from crosswalk.com. I always like to give credit where it's due and it says, in other words, worship isn't something we simply feel. Worship isn't the name we give, some experience that we seek while singing, lifting our hands or closing our eyes. It's something we do with our bodies. In all of life, we can worship God through our eating, drinking, typing, speaking, cooking, driving, and countless other ways. We worship God whenever we perform an act out of a desire to draw attention to His greatness, especially revealed in sending His Son as a substitutionary sacrifice for our sins. The part of that that I think it just has to come out, it has to jump off the screen at you, is... Anything that we do, anything that we pick out and say, this is, a, this is a time when I can bring God's glory through whatever I'm doing. I don't know how many times 
were given an opportunity and just talking to a friend or a family member or, or, or whatever the situation may be that we can just say, you know, let's, let's take a second and let's pray. Let, let's bring God into this. And when you start to, to show His power and your trust in His power in your life, that's, that's an act of worship. Whenever you see a kid at, in the line at McDonald's and, you know, they're carrying up there and they're counting every nickel and dime that they have and they're trying to get an ice cream cone or something, they may not need the money, but, you know, you look down at them and you say, hey, go ahead and throw their ice cream cone on my bill. It shows an act of love and an act of kindness to that child. And they see that in, in your life. And, in, in, and it just starts to sp- a spark in the world that you can't, you can't put out. And it's about bringing glory to God's name. And so we're going to bring this back. Um, we're going to turn Living Worship Media around. Um, it's been about oh, probably a month and a half to two months since we've posted anything. And we're already making plans this week on Thursday to bring some kind of content. Um, this just sort of got rejuvenated in my spirit today. Um, and it's, it's been coming in uh, for the last week or so. But it just really got kicked off in my, in my heart and that sort of thing today. But my goal is to bring... Um, to bring some stuff Thursday and then hopefully um, at least every other week or so thereafter. Um, what I would like from you guys, from those of you that are watching, um, in the comments, put put what you'd like to see. If, if just simple little, you know, five-minute messages is inspiring to you, five-minute pieces of scripture, you know, maybe not even having to do with worship. If that is inspiring to you, then, we'll, then that's what we'll do. Um, I, I personally, what I see a vision of is, is more interviews with real people about their lives. I really liked what we did with Skip and, um, you know, he might be my best friend, but he's got an amazing story to tell that touches a lot of people's hearts. I've used his story in countless live situations where, you know, we've had, you know, teen events and that kind of thing. And just having real life stories about how people have overcome things through God and, and through the power of God. That's what it's about. And so that's something I see in our future. Um, but anyway, I, I haven't even taken a look. I'm just going to take a quick look and see if there's anybody hanging out with us live. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know how to operate Facebook, apparently. I'm sorry, guys. There it is. Oh, I see Randy's on here. Give me the thumbs up. I appreciate that, buddy. I try to catch... This is guy, uh, Randy Rombo, in the comments. If you see his stuff, he posts some really good... Um, inspiration, uplifting stuff, um, really good friend, really good man of God. I, I appreciate everything he posts on Facebook. Let me see here. This stuff is, I'm telling you, this technology is a mess, just so everybody knows. Okay, well, I'm not going to bore you anymore with watching me try to make my computer work and, and uh, go through some of this stuff, but um, I just want to end with a word of prayer for um, for what we're trying to do, um, and and please, please um, don't ever hesitate to reach out to us. You know, we have a, a group of um, probably five or six of us that are working on this now, um, hopefully what you're going to see coming from us in the future is uh, a website where we're going to start trying to do written uh, media like uh, devotions and that kind of thing. Um, what I what I see is just a, a platform where people can just start to share their heart through whatever means it may be. Um, and, and the more people we can reach, the more powerful this is. So share the video, share the page, invite your friends to like the page. Um, I know up to this point it's been a little disappointing uh, 
and I apologize for that. But um, we just we love you guys. Um, our heart is to try and just is just influence and to be an example of of what it means to to live the right kind of life where we do bring attention to God and we bring glory to His name in everything that we do. So anyway, appreciate. All of you guys that are jumping on, I see Travis is on here, Jennifer. Hey guys, um, I'm, I'm a little bit behind, by the way. So if, if I have said hello and you already left, sorry about that. But um, anyway, you guys have a wonderful night. And let's just say a word of prayer in closing. God, we ask that you, you come into this ministry, that you come into this um, adventure that we've started to use the power of technology and use this medium of Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and whatever else we decide that is the right thing. Just shine your light on the path that best suits what you need out of this, God. And you know the lives that need touched and you know the people who we need to reach. And just, God, I know that you're going to make a way for us to, to see those people and to meet those needs that, that you have already picked out for us that you 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 laid this on the hearts of of a group of people here and you already have the lives of those that that are going to be touched by it in in your hand and you're, you're ready to, to just use us and god make us transparent as we as we enter into this make us just vessels that we can we can walk through and even though we're doing this on a social platform and we're we may be using talents and abilities and you know, and sharing things that, that we like to do. I know I, I, I love playing the guitar. I love playing the drums. You know, that's, that's stuff that, that I do enjoy doing, but it's not about us. And God, just make us transparent as we, as we perform for you, as we, as we put you on as the show, not put on a show. And God, allow us to, to just, shine a light into this world and we know you're going to do amazing things in your name we pray amen well guys appreciate everything that that you guys have done every person who shared the page um just continue to help us out continue to make this thing grow um i know that there's a lot of other really cool um, organizations in the community that i'd like to get plugged in with um i know i've uh, checked out um, one of my buddies, Michael Blackwell, did one of the Red Couch devotions with a fella. I can't remember his name right off the top of my head. But, uh, you know, I'm always about representing other folks in the community trying to do do God's work. You know, Google search Red Couch devotions. I think that the fellow's out of Tazewell. Um, uh, there's a, a girl, uh, Faith Pike. Um, I, uh, one of my buddies kind of showed me a thing that she was working on and some stuff that she's doing with some art and uh, writing. Um, she has a website there that you can check out. Just There's a ton of people in our community that are trying to, to spread God's word, and we need to connect and uh, push this thing to the next level. And when people start to see us work together, um, Pastor Steve at uh, Destiny the other day said, the church is not an organization, it's an organism. And that was just awesome. It, it, it jumped off jumped off the screen at me. And I was like, wow. If that doesn't say a lot as to why why so many times we fail is because we don't we fail to live, we fail to to live out through what we're doing. And we, we think it's an organization, we think it's there to support us and to you know, for us to grow and, and it is, but the church is there to to interact with the outside world as an organism and to live in the world and to 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 shape the world as we go through and that's that's what I want this to be is is an extension of the church um, not a church I want it to be an extension of the lives of of all the folks around our community and and friends that I've made that um, are just out there doing work for God so if you stuck around with me this long I appreciate you hanging out with us, and you guys have a lovely evening.